Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Now, this is an article right here. And uh, we have as the main guy here, uh, Dmitry Medvedev, the former president of the Russian Federation. He's gonna make some predictions and I would like you to uh, maybe not memorize them, but keep them in mind uh, here and there, you know? I don't know if memorizing is the same thing we keep them in mind in English, but you know what I mean. This article comes from uh, Al Mayadin. This is an it is an Arab, um, supposedly independent media outlet, but it's not very. In, I mean, maybe it's independent, but it has its own uh, twist. As year nears end, Medvedev predicts breakup or in EU, civil war in US. So two predictions. European Union will break up and civil war in US. Well, I can predict that too, but I can predict the year. <laughs> so I don't know if he's gonna take on that. He's also um, predicting that Elon Musk will be elected as president of the United States. This is what deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, forecasts. And just so uh, if we can do that, but we can do it. I would like to provide you with this guy's face. Uh, now, remember, if we can, if we can't, when, when we're going to be able to improve this, then we're going to do it. Remember, this guy was the most... Um, it was pro-Western, the most pro-Western Russian important politician in the Russian leadership. And his feisty mood changed in the past few months. Deputy Chairman of the, Chairman, Chairman of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, wished the West a, and I'm quoting, Happy New Year with his futuristic, futuristic prophecy which anticipated a slew of troubles. Now I'm gonna quote Medvedev. Everybody likes to make predictions before New Year's. Many are coming up with futuristic hypotheses, competing in suggesting the most unexpected or even absurd ones. Let's also contribute. <laughs> Let's also contribute, okay. End quote. He posted on his Telegram channel on Monday, stipulating a 10-point list. The top Russian official foresees oil at $150 per barrel. That's for oil. And $5,000 per, per 1,000 cubic meters of gas. The UK rejoining the EU and the subsequent dissolution of the European Union. He also predicted that, and this is very important, and I'm quoting, Poland and Hungary capturing Western regions of former Ukraine, end quote, former Ukraine. And I'm quoting again, the establishment of the Fourth Reich on the basis of Germany and its allied satellites, end quote, and a subsequent war between this union and France, followed by the division of Europe and the new partition of Poland. Well, we'll see, man. It's a, not impossible, but I'm not over. Northern Ireland, seceding from the United Kingdom and joining the Republic of Ireland, has its own entity, he added, regarding the future of the US, the, and I'm quoting, forecasts included a civil war in the United States, California and Texas becoming independent countries, Elon Musk being elected president, and the rejection of the euro and dollar as global reserve currencies, end quote. In closing, Medvedev wished his, and I'm quoting, Anglo-Saxon friends and their allies a good new year. <laughs> uh, well, 
at least he's funny. Uh, now, <laughs> let me start with this. Medvedev changed his attitude in the past seven, eight months. Let's put it nicely after the Ukraine uh, BS started. Okay, like military between, you know, the invasion, 24th of February, military special operation, love fest, whatever you want to call it. He changed it. He became very, very outspoken and direct and aggressive, aggressive towards the West and uh, Ukraine and funny at times. He has never appeared like that before. Now, sometimes you do that to cover your... Um, your trail. I don't know if he's uh, trying to get popularity and show that he is actually way extreme. I mean, I, I don't want to analyze Putin here, but let's put it extremer or more extreme than Putin. Therefore, certain kind of uh, circles in Russia will look at him as a good replacement when Putin kicks the bucket. That's one thing. And by doing that, he actually working for other uh, uh, agencies, if you know what I mean. That is something I'm very afraid and usually happens when people start changing their behavior like this and over overdoing it, overemphasizing certain kind of patriotic, uh, nationalistic tendencies and, you know, being the most aggressive guy in all that, maybe aside from Kadyrov, but Kadyrov is crosses a certain kind of uh, diplomatic, uh, or I don't even know, Kadyrov is just a little bit more basic, let's put it nicely. This guy is a little bit more sophisticated. I know, I understand, I was comparing him with Kadyrov. Okay, now, let's go and try to discuss these things here that uh, Medvedev said. Uh, and it's going to be obviously my assessment because I'm making it <laughs> now here. And let's see what's going on here. So the barrel, oil barrel, 150 per, uh, one, per, per barrel, I think $150. I think that's very possible. I would give that a 95%, if no more. I think it's going to be more than one, 150. Uh, now the one with a kilowatt, I don't know. I have no understanding, but um, I know it's going to increase, but I can tell you because I don't know how much it is and how much would be uh, 5,000 per 1,000 cubic meters of gas. I don't know. The UK rejoining the EU, EU, very possible, very possible, but on the other hand, not possible because UK wants to play both both ends, to at both ends. So I would give that about 50-50. And the subsequent dissolution of the European Union, I see that happening about 90 some percent. It depends on what happens in the United States of America and uh, it depends what happens with Russia. He also predicted that Poland and Hungary capturing western regions of the former Ukraine. I see that 98 percent. That's how I, uh, fulfillment I see it. But under various reasons like, oh, we're going to take it so we keep it safe because the Russians are invading, something like that and they're winning on that side. That's why we go here, we capture this, is ours, and we keep it for you know, um, safekeeping or whatever, <coughs> protect our population. Exactly what the Russians did in uh, Eastern Ukraine, protecting their, their you know, nationals, co-nationals, the Russian population, they will say we'll protect our you know, Polish and uh, Hungarian population over there. You know, like, you know, like Sudetenland and like, uh, the uh, United States did in um, American-Mexican War or Mexican-American War, if you remember, and Texas the same way when Texas became independent, the United States helped here and there. It was the same thing. Uh, we protect our Americans uh, being slaughtered by the Mexicans and all that. So it's not something that Hitler invented or uh, Putin invented. Okay, let's put that to rest. Now. The, establish, the establish, establishment of the Fourth Reich on the basis of Germany and its allied satellites. I don't know where that comes from. I have no idea. I can't see that happening. Could be, but I don't think it's going to come as a Reich. Uh, you know what I mean? And a subsequent war between this union, which is the Reich, and France. I don't think it's going to be a war. I think it's going to be a 
bitter bitter uh, competition but not war if he means war as military war i don't think so followed by the division of europe and the partition of poland i don't know how who's gonna do that germany is gonna partition uh, poland uh, no i don't i don't see that the partition of poland not impossible but uh, i would give uh, five percent to this one partition of poland northern ireland seceding from the united kingdom enjoying the republic of ireland uh, uh, has its own entry uh he added i see this 98 uh, percent or as an entity but it's gonna i don't know if they're gonna really want to unite with the other piece because you know you like to be the boss in your neighborhood you don't want your neighborhood to be a part of a city where you're going to become a, just a neighborhood you're going to be the boss of the neighborhood in a city versus a boss in the neighborhood of the neighborhood so you're the guy in charge so that plays a, a big role regarding the future of the u.s the forecasts included a civil war in the state that's yeah i see that and i it depends what happens in two years with the elections if the elections go where well, well, the same way like this one's here and these guys are able to continue their bullshit yeah i see that in three four five years at the most six years maybe now Elon musk being elected president i give that 50 percent uh maybe even less than 50 percent the rejection of the euro and dollar as global revenue currencies i see that it depends on the you s depends on how uh, how big the um, you know the rejection 100 percent no there will be country that will use it there will be country that will do what he says here or go back go from it so that's gonna happen i would say 99 percent but the extent is gonna be gradual and when the second club uh, really has uh, catches power and the connections the second club being russia china india on the brick on the bricks then uh, and not only not only yes that could happen uh, little by little because they saw what happened to russia the problem is not going to be that they don't want to the problem is that they can't because the big boss is going to still use the three things the four things actually uh, threats blackmail regime change and direct military intervention that's how it, it evolves and it goes so yeah, it's very interesting with certain things that he said in Europe, with Germany, um, uh, the thing with Poland and Hungary and Ukraine. That's pff, I think it's very very possible. Poland being Poland being partitioned, I don't know by whom. Who's gonna do that? Germany. Uh, Germany needs to grow balls, and I don't see that happening. Uh, I think no. Uh, I think Germany is what uh, to Germany it happened what it happened to Carthage to Carthage by the Romans when the Romans eventually beat the Phoenicians and the Carthaginians whatever and they got on Carthage the capital the city state and they took it they took each and removed each and every block of rocks out of it any building they flattened it that's how the legend said and they put um, salt they put salt on it so nothing grows back on that shit that's how much they hated that so uh, um, I don't know it's it's just um, his um, his predictions are a little bit wild here and there but um, that's what Germany Germany doesn't uh, it's not gonna grow balls because I think uh, down there is what the Romans did to the Car uh, Carthaginians, not Phoenicians. I don't know. I think it's the same here. I don't know. Carthag I think they are Carthaginians. That's exactly what they, they put salt over there. Nothing grows back. So in order for Germany to say that we're gonna have a fourth Reich and this and that, nah, I don't think they they lack that thing over there. They will try to make to do it like. A, little uh, political union possibly with them being the bosses but i don't think they will uh, do anything military or anything like that but who knows and france is uh, much weasel than and then uh, and they're gonna fight i don't think there's gonna be any war i don't think that germany would want back certain kind of territories between france and uh, germany that were taken 
from Germany, well, let's dispute it, who has what, you know, um, the Ruhr, the whatever over there by the Germans, what take, given to the French after the Second World War, and the Germans don't have them anymore. So anyway, um, very interesting uh, predictions. Some of them I think they're wild, but I know for sure that he has more information than I do um, in the geopolitics. So he knows things that for us could be like, ah, come on, man. But for him, it's very clear because he has so much data and information just being in the system that he can predict certain things that for us looks, Jesus Christ, how did you come with this one? You know, he doesn't have time to explain because I have information that, that, that this is what happens be behind the scenes. So we'll see. So Merry Christmas to my Anglo-Saxon uh, friends. Uh, he knows who's who, that's what, that's for sure. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.